They're going in five minute zero increment game. Okay, um, oh, I thought it, thought it was lagging for me then. Let's just uh, attack the pawn here. So in this particular game, well the games in this little mini series that I'm doing now, it's a matter of not taking any pieces off the board. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a complete reversal. I'll make it look like I'm going to, but I've got to not take any pieces off the board whatsoever. Of, of course I'm going to take some off, but I've not to initiate it. It has to be something that is really crucial that I have to definitely take it off because the piece is either going to get trapped or I'm just going to lose badly. So I can't take, I can't take it. So until it can't move any further, then I have to consider whether I'm taking pieces off the board. I think I'll take it off the board here because my bishop can't go anywhere else and just develop now. And the bishop's defending we can attack but it doesn't mean we have to take we can't take we're not allowed to take so we suppose we'll push past so he's attacking us we do have space to maneuver so we're gonna have to move the bishop so I'm not allowed to take unless it's absolutely necessary and again I can't take until it's absolutely necessary I'm not losing out too badly there so we can grab here and grab here it's pretty scary doing it but just gonna have a look and see how we end up I mean Rook does have a check on the King the King does move and then where do we go from there then I'm blocking my Queen so maybe the Queen comes up first because he's gonna be chomping at the bit to drop this pawn we do have a two on one on this pawn as well so that might stand us in good stead so let's just go here maybe the Queen comes and blocks the queen doesn't block okay we still do have the two on one but he's now got like the knight there but the knight can't move because the queen is here so we could go and attack the pawn again yeah something because he's really going to be just opening up this bishop to attack king can defend there's no meat on the bones with what we're actually doing so he does defend drops down and it's not feeling very comfortable at the minute so we could attack the knight or we could attack the knight this way first just to see what they want to do does he have some magical fork potentially here or he just leaves the knight there so i think we've followed the plan we've not taken so he does actually go there that's interesting so the rook can come here put a check on the king does the king move out of the way we do have the bishop but we're not allowed to take so let's just put a check on the king gonna go here defending the pawn queen can't squeeze here just yet because this pawn is blocking and our time will probably be running out so i'm going to bring the rook here to see if we can put more pieces into the party but obviously the queen would take if it went there it's ideal to go there but obviously we can't if we push this pawn then maybe that will defend the rook so it's given us permission to actually do that so we'll push the pawn here although the knight is going to move because he's going to have a discover check on our rook is that going to be full oh, attacking the queen spoiling our situation queen can't come here now in fact my queen's trapped <gasps> i'm gonna have to take the knight i'm gonna have to take the knight with the rook oh well okay i'm gonna have to take the knight with the rook and then bring the rook here looking for this ideal position but the queen is gonna have to take the rook that's the way it looks to me but maybe they don't have to but yes the queen is gonna have to take the rook so we're gonna have to grab and then grab it's going to go here to defend the rook and so we can take here on the rook <coughs> at the minute it's all a bit sketchy really and queen is there any checky matey type things uh, get the knight involved get it more up here than we can get here with the queen so i'm going to touch onto here 
Queen's gone back. There's nothing definite. Put a check here. And I don't know. Bishop. Yeah, Bishop. And put a check here. And uh, is there anything? There isn't anything else, is there? I'm gonna have to take. Okay, sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Just gonna have to move fast now then. So that seemed to work out for us, but he's got two rooks and we've got no trying to squish the king and blocking these areas, but the rook is coming to defend straight off. Let's put a check on here. The king can't go anywhere, so then we're gonna get like a checkmate there. Oh that's really good. Oh excellent. That was really <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, the idea of us not taking pieces um, in this <laughs> little game here uh, really did quite help us in a sense because the opponent was over-egging their pieces and then they were having to defend because we had to find another position rather than capturing. Okay, not saying that that's the be-all and end-all to um, playing the games, but it's nice to just practice different concepts every now and then and it's been able to jumble it up at the right moments you know to capture when it's appropriate but uh, i'm just trying to gel things up a bit in readiness for all these over the board competitions that are slowly creeping up interesting okay practicing this only taking when it's absolutely necessary type situation uh it's not absolutely necessary to take so we'll push here it's uh, again it's not necessary to take but um, let's go here wasn't absa absa absolutely but it's just getting more more pieces off the board so i think we will take here because he's making he's grabbing quite a lot of material and try to shift maybe here i mean that's a pretty obvious his knight is just going to defend swing in here as soon as I've got the handicap on me, I've got to try and um, do something with this. Let's castle. It's hard to remember your handicap as well. I suppose it slows your brain down, so you're not doing knee-jerk reactions. So there's no threats, no attacks. The, the knight is attacking here. I um, need to get this bishop out and the knight out as well. I have a feeling it's nice going to go here. Okay, let's just drop this bishop up. It's going to castle, so that might give us time to get our knight out. But it just blocks the bishop when you go there. It's looking to drop this to get the bishop onto the queen. No, he's attacking the queen anyway. Okay, we're lucky that he's got his bishop there could come here sacking the bishop as well anyway let's just bring this down here so he does take looks like he wants to get the queens off the board does he interesting let's go well he will because he's got a pawn up into you or something anyway. okay nice and steady away let's just uh, get the knight out see what's happening here Obviously the rook is going here, so I don't really know why they're taking so long over the move because this pawn doesn't have any protection on it. It's not actually doing that just yet. Okay, let's uh, attack the knight. Just try to get this pawn out of the way, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh. So he's got two pieces on my knight. Is it absolutely necessary that I take his knight? Um, 
I feel his knight could cause me a lot of trouble and maybe they should have done that move first if we do take his bishops here his bishops on our knight is also on the on this pawn maybe that's gonna be okay for us let's just go here so we've got the bishop defending the knight we do have an isolated pawn yeah that was always coming so i don't really want to lose any sleep over that they are plus one at the moment boom 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 They really do go into the tank, don't they? Well, let's go here. See, so he was putting a two on one with his bishop and his rook. Again, they've gone straight into the tank. Wow. So he's attacking, so we could take, but again, we don't have to take. Maybe this pawn can help support. So I'm actually going to attack the rook. Obviously, he just moves back. They take so long over the move. Wow. <laughs> For me, it's kind of surreal. Um, we could move and attack the um, rook, but then obviously he moves here. And um, we do have a fork with the knight. So I'm going to potentially just put the fork on the rook again. Wow, you've got a piece under attack. You're going to move. Oh my lord, they haven't. So they're not attacking our rook. So okay, so it must be pieces up maybe. No, it's equalised. I don't know what actually what know what happened there. Let's go here. I don't actually know what happened there. I mean, did they get flummoxed with the knight putting the fork on the bishop or something? I, I, I don't really know what happened. Don't push here. It's not saying we've won because he does have a bishop still and also a rook. We are kind of owning the file, but we're going to be splintering off in a minute, so it could still work in their favour. And they do look like they've got more pawns. And oh, he's attacking. Okay, let's just bring the rook here. King's going to move from the flight square because he doesn't want to get rid of his rook. He's not doing that, so we'll attack the rook. And let's take with a check. Come down for the bishop. Bishop just comes back up here to defend and is blocking this area here. So I think I'm going to attack this pawn and this pawn. So it's not over. They'll probably they could maybe get a drawish. I think we'll attack or on the bishop. Bishop not really going here, so it's going to hide here or here. Attacking the pawn, put it on a dark square time's running out what else is protecting the pot it's protecting the pawn it's protecting the pawn if we go here then he goes here I have to move this up oh my life okay we'll take the bishop this king's coming down with menace let's go here Oh, resignation. Damn, this no taking type change in psychology seems to be working for us. Um, it's only a small shift in, in terms of what we're actually doing. I've, I did feel a little bit unsafe in this game, uh, really. So it was like a bit shaky for me. I did think, well, I don't think this is going to actually work for me in this game. And because we were down a pawn um, and as you saw the opponent started giving away good position really even though I mean they were down the rook so they were started to lose the momentum in the game where we're we going just take a quick shifty at this one because yeah I did have a bit of a flap going on 
I just move my little head just to the side here. Yeah, that all felt a little bit kind of odd, you know, moving moving the night. But I'm, it's looking at different positions, you know, to what I'm not usually used to, you know. So this is why we're doing this sort of exercise to try and open up different pathways of working. Did I really need to take that? Did I really need to put my piece in that position? Where was there a better position? Yeah, so it's given them one point one there. But we're looking to try and put pressure on the king area yeah, but i didn't really feel too comfortable in this game so we castled and then brought the bishop out and brought the queen protecting went for the exchange yeah it's not looking good for us this is like minus two here at the minute now and when it's um on the two regions either plus or minus like we have to pay attention so we bring the knight across now looking to attack so we take and it's all about shuffling now shuffling positionally i was really, really weird that the opponent was taking so long over their particular moves it looked pr pretty obvious moves so yeah that definitely wasn't comfortable here but was more comfortable as the opponent was giving up good position on the board so then we could put the fork on the the rook i mean the evaluation bars agreeing with us as well and then they captured so then we captured the rook but it's this is a very slow gauge bar so we have to wait for it to end think so it's not a major advantage at all but it is now plus 1.6 so it's different to the first half of the game it was all minuses so that was a minor hip up hiccup of the opponents so again i don't really know why they didn't just move the rook but sometimes people don't see forks do they you know maybe they just thought well it's just forking the bishop and it's not actually touching the rook because he's already moved the rook out of the way but it's actually still under pressure here it does happen you get tunnel vision so bringing the rook across seemed okay i just panic when in these situations because i do sometimes see people winning with like the bishop and the rook and or get a draw out of it so it's very quite tricky especially as he looks like he's got more pawns over here he's got quite a few pawns yeah we've only got one two three he's got one two three four five pawns so if played correctly i think they could have put some pressure on the situation yeah and as well moving his king i think what might have helped him a little bit you know moving the king out of the way a bit oh he's already moved hasn't he so that then he doesn't have to mind you his rook's still there anyway and if we would have gone there and if he had done something else we would just take it off the board anyway so then he'd just take and then we'll put the check on the king anyway so we're in that same type of position anyway so yeah just the early part of that game wasn't gelling with me right and we're going to do one more i said a little mini series of the um no taking rule uh, only when absolutely necessary to actually capture and hopefully maybe try and get some a better position earlier on rather than um suffering um in that way i think i got carried away allowing them to take all the pawns with that one pawn uh, i need to just change that psychology in this exercise okay last one in the <clears throat> only capturing when absolutely necessary series <sighs> I'm, I'm taking here because of the position that it allows us so I believe it was necessary to capture there or else we're just gonna allow them to take all the pawns in the world and let's castle I think that exercise really should be more about the crucial points where oh i think this is okay to capture because the queen is looking prominent this guy's a little bit fast with the move so hopefully we can make them make a mistake yes yeah, so i think this exercise is more about the crucial stages of the game where you then decide oh shall i capture or shan't I? when it's pretty straightforward he's coming for the pawn here so let's go here 
Then he's going to triple up maybe. Oh, he's not doing that. So he's opened up our king space. Maybe looking to drop here, get the queen across. I don't really know. And he's castling that side. I thought he would have castled this side, getting the rook here, putting down on here. Let's push on to the bishop while they're thinking about that. Just remembering not to take... Oh, this might be interesting. Shall we push here? Attack, attack, attack. Yep, okay. And we've got a bit of press on. Ooh, he's got my bishop. Does he take the bishop? Let's push on to the queen and see what he does. His bishop comes in on our queen. We have to take with the queen. No, he's moving down. He's very jerky. I think he wants our knight. Let's take the bishop. I think he wants our knight. Let's push this pawn while we're thinking. He's got to go on castle, I think. Yeah, let's push here. Knight's dancing. Let's do a bit of this. He can have the pawn. Yep, he can have the pawn. We have what feels like a potential menacing situation let's attack we've got space here his knight's probably looking to think he's coming here to block the king off for some back rank stuff queen's up nice let's attack the queen now this is the menace i was just mentioning fingers crossed it comes off look at him targeting through here he's hunting to get down here looking for a safe spot but not quite so it's probably coming here to come down here and it's not doing that just yet okay so the menace still continues now bring the queen here Rook is chomping at the bit to come here to put a 2 on 1 on the knight. Oh, the pawn even. Okay, so he's getting closer to our king area, so that's not really what we want to be happening. But, there is a situation in hand. Let's just go here like this, because we want to get the menace. The menace is the knight. We don't want to trap the knight. Okay, so he's going with these. I'm, I was thinking he was going to be coming across here with his queen type stuff. So I'm hoping they're losing tempi by doing this. And we're ready to rock and roll, I think. Let's go here. Oh, it's taking too long, so he's wanting to save his queen. What was that? Okay, let's go here. And... One key thing to do is move the king up. Okay, oh yeah, I was waiting for that. And he's got the pawn here, so we need to be mindful of that. Wanting to get into this spot for a while. Got a two on one here, let's take this pawn. And then get to safety on this pawn for a moment. Because I think this pawn is just going to... Just come here for a second. Don't want to overthink it. Yeah, he's taken away the shelter. I was going to come here with the knight. Is that a mistake to take though in that situation? If we go here, then he, he takes, then we take. Then we're supporting. Let's just bring the knight down make space to put a check on the king let's go and take this king hides here though don't really like that but I suppose we can get a pawn off let's go there let's take there beyond the night oh he's got a check on me what does that oh that means he can come here and if I move up, then his rook takes the pawn, but then we'll take his knight. Let's go here. Let's 
Oh, okay. Oh, he gets my rock, but I suppose we just go here. This way. Uh huh. Maybe it just takes the pawn. Damn. Oh, it doesn't. We still got a knight on the board. That was crazy. Oh, and it's worked again. Fantastic. Wow. That's a whole different. Well, the exercise, I think, it helped me to focus more on what was kind of important positionally on the board. And yeah, that was really quite nifty. Like I say, it's not the whole be all and end all. I've got to practice quite a lot of other concepts as well um, in order to really. Um, bring my game to shine but that was a really different take on it might not look any different but it felt different because I made moves differently and the decision making was based ended up being based on is that absolutely necessary to actually capture that does it really put me in a better position and then using the rest of the answer process to solidify the movement of the pieces so yeah that was really a good exercise